let f of x be a quadratic polynomial x such that f of x is greater than or equal to 0 for all real numbers x. They have told f of 2 is 0. Now, quadratic polynomial, we need to understand the graph of a quadratic polynomial. This is 1, this is 2. If f of 2 is 0, which means the graph is something like this, right? It does not have to be so spread out. It could be a little bit uh, anyways, that's okay. But f of 2 is 0. At x is 2, y is 0. And they have told f of 4 is 6. So, at 4, it is 6. We know that the graph will be symmetric at 2. We know the graph will be symmetric at 2. So, if f of 4 is 6, then f of 0 will also be 6. f of 0 will also be 6. So, basically what I have done is I have added one more data to the question. They have told us f of 2 and f of 4. They have asked for f of minus 2. But I have found f of 0 is also 6. f of minus 2 will keep going higher. So, it will definitely be more than 6. So, fourth option is not my answer anyways. That is very clear. Let us try. So, I am just going to erase this. So, uh, we have some space. So, what do we have? We have f of 2 is 0. f of 4 is 6. And I have f of 0 is also 6. Now, let the quadratic function be f of a f of x is equal to a x square plus b x plus c. Right? That is your quadratic polynomial. Now, initially what do I know? I know that if I use this one, taking x as 0, I should get answer as 6. So, 6 is equal to 0 plus 0 plus c. So, c is 6. So, my first thing which I got c is 6. Now, let us use these two. f of 2 is 0. So, f of 2 is 0. So, 0 is equal to 4a plus 2b plus 6. So, I have got minus 6 is equal to 4a plus 2b. Minus 3 is equal to 2a plus b. So, we have got that. We will also look at what we want to find f of minus 2, but that I will find after I find, find the values of a and b. So, I have got minus 3 is equal to 2a plus b. So, I have used f of 2 is 0. Now, I have to use f of 4 is 6. So, I will get 6 is equal to f of 4. So, 16a plus 4b plus 6, 6, 6 cut. So, I get 16a plus 4b is 0 divided by 4. So, I get 4a is equal to minus b. We have got 4a is equal to minus b. Now, take both these equations and solve them to find the values of a, b, c and we will get the function and then we can find f of 2. We can also find f of 2 first, uh, f of minus 2 first. So, what is f of minus 2? f of minus 2 would be how much? It would be 4a minus 2b plus c. Plus c is 6, we know that. So, what is uh, minus b? Minus b is 4a. So, minus 2b. Minus 2b will become how much? It will become 8a. So, 4a plus 8a plus 6. That will be 12a plus 6 is what I want to find. Let us continue further. We have this equation. So, let us find a. We have minus 3 is equal to 2a plus b can be written as minus 4a. So, minus 3 is equal to minus 2a. a is 3 by 2. Put that over here. Value. So, f of 12a plus 6 will be 12 into 3 by 2 plus 6. That will be 18 plus 6, 24, which is the first option. Slightly longer, again, definitely not an easy question, maybe a B or even a C for most students because looking at functions and all students normally get nervous. But important point was getting this part. Once you got this part, which gave you the value of C, then it became more of a simultaneous equation question, not really very difficult. Let us have a look at one more approach for this question. You know, this is an approach which uh, you would understand if you understood that the second difference con second difference is constant in a quadratic equation. So, we have been already told that it is a quadratic polynomial. Now, in a quadratic polynomial, always the second difference is constant. Now, let me explain that to you first. Now, what do we know? We know that f of 2 is 0 and f of 4 is 6, right? So, for 2, the value is 0. And for 4, the value is 6, right? These are the values we know. So, obviously, what we figured out earlier will still be used that for 0, the value will be 6 again. Now, let us start finding the difference. Now, consider this as one series, right? Obviously, we want to find the value for minus 2. So, this is the value we want to find. Okay. Now, so the difference over here is 6 minus 0 is 6. 0 minus 6 is minus 6. This is not constant. 
So the difference over here will be 6 minus minus 6, which is 12, which is the constant difference. Now that is the whole idea. This difference should remain 12 every single time. So whatever value, suppose if I take this value as x, which I want to find. Now, so this will be x minus 6, right? And the difference between these two should be 12. So according to what we know, it should be x minus 6 minus 6 should be 12. And therefore, x will be 24. This is a much, much, much shorter method to do the question. Obviously, you still had to figure out that for 0, the value was 6. But if you understand this approach that the second difference has to be constant in the quadratic equation, then this method will be really, really, really very quick.